It's time for the Clark Garrison experience. Watch this. So I'm back and I'm feeling a lot better. At least mentally I'm feeling a lot better. But I'm still on the injured list. If you guys don't remember my last video, uh, I heard a pop in my Achilles calf area when I was running uh, the Publix half marathon. So pulled up, I think it was like right before the first 5K, pulled up and was done, right? It was over. Uh, eight months uh, practice going down the drain, but it happens. State of depression afterwards, eating fest. I think I gained 10 pounds, you know, eating my misery away. Uh, but I'm back. I'm feeling better. And uh, I just wanted everybody to know I'm not back running yet. I Hey, I, I'm sort of kind of walking without a limp now, for, so that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to, I think it's been about 30 days. So I'm going to give myself another 30 days and just see how I feel. This is an injury I want to be very careful with. Um, my Achilles, you know, as you guys know, who are runners out there, Achilles is nothing to be played with. So, um, I've got some ways to go, but I'm feeling a lot better. So there it is. Um, what was I going to talk about? Oh, I do want to talk about, however, uh, the first five, the second 5k I, I, I ran ever. So you guys remember my first 5K with East Lake 5K, I kind of jumped into it after about 60 days of training just to really see how the training was going. I'd never run a 5K, so I didn't know what it felt like. So uh, I immediately planned to run another 5K and I signed up for the Candler Festival 5K. Again, at this point, I don't even know to do research on the run to ask other runners how difficult it is, what's the tricks and turns and etc. I just know I signed up for it. I knew I was going to do better one way or another. So I really started practicing on um, pacing myself. Whereas before I just thought I was getting in shape. Now I had to start to develop a strategy in racing, like mentally taking myself through 5k. When would I pick it up? When would I slow down? When would I uh, would I take a water break? Wouldn't I take a water break? Um, how do I follow people for pacing? Because I still am not great at it. So it's the day of the second 5K, about five weeks after the first. Uh, and it starts raining about an hour before. Go figure. So, and I mean real rain. I don't mean that, that sprinkle stuff. So hour before we leave out, can't find the damn place. The address is screwed up. I think it's at the park, but nobody's at the park and it's raining. It just so happened my son, who was supposed to be at, I don't know, basketball practice, something like that, he calls and he's got to get picked up because it's raining. He's not going to practice. Whatever. So now, you know who gets screwed? Dad. Uh, and I get dropped off. So now I got to find out where we're supposed to meet up in the rain. Uh, so finally, I, I see a trickle of people and I start winding down. Oh, let me back up and say this. Uh, for whatever reason, I drank a lot of coffee about an hour before. We'll get to that in a minute. About 20 steps into the 5K, my heart starts kicking in like a jackhammer. And I'm like, what in the hell is going on? So I'm breathing crazy. My heart is beating out of my chest. And I'm like, oh, the flipping caffeine kicks in. And I'm not used to running with caffeine. So I'm breathing out of my mouth already, 20 steps in. And I'm going into panic mode because five weeks of training is about to go down the toilet again. So I'm like, dude, you got to fight through it. So get to about the mile marker and I feel like I'm done. All right, I am done. And those who don't know, Candler Park has like a lot of winding trail kind of runs that go up and down and around and backwards and are these weird kind of zigzaggy things going uphill and downhill. It's a 
it's a it's a tough race. It's a tough run if you've never done it before. And of course, I had never run it before. And so literally a quadrillion times, I think I stopped. Nevertheless, I fought through it. Dude, get it together. You know, I think I must have said that to myself 50 million times. At any rate, so where was I? And then finally I find somebody that I'm like, oh, that's the speed I should be running at. So I get right behind him and I'm like, you don't stop no matter what. All right. Stay a couple paces behind. You don't want to freak anybody out, but don't stop. And so I'm, I finally get a pace and I'm like, I'm moving. I think we're going at a good clip. Mind you, I don't have any timing device. I don't have anything yet. I hadn't even thought about it to pace myself and know where I am in the race. But after about the third quarter, because this was one of those races where you, you go down, you go around, you get to the end, and essentially you're making a loop. So you're coming back the same way, if that makes sense. Now I'm starting to recognize a couple of you know, landmarks. Hey, I've been here before, and now I've got an idea of where the finish line is, because that's where we started, right? So I'm picking up the pace, and I actually pass the, the guy I'm pacing because I'm feeling better now, right? I get my second win. And so I'm going at a nice clip. And it's weird because wherever I was, I was in one of those gaps when you're running that it's like a no man's land. Nobody's there. There's a bunch of people in front of you, and there's a bunch of people behind you. But in this gap, you're the only person. I can't quite remember how far it is. Do I give it everything and die at the end? Or do I kind of wait until I see it and then give it everything? I don't really know. You know, who knows, right? It's only my second race. At any rate, I finally see the flipping finish line and I just beeline it there. I give it everything I got. And I swear to God, it felt like 10 minutes on top of what I did in the first one. But I did manage to knock off two minutes. And I think I ran it like uh, 32, 28, 32, 28. So 34, 33 to a 32, 28. And again, I screwed up so much coffee, jackhammer, breathing, uh, hadn't run that many winding hills, so that broke me down, that it felt like I did a ton of walking. I broke two minutes off of my PR, so who knows, I might be getting better at this thing, so. Shout out to Candler Park Festival 5K. I don't think I'll run it next year. It's a smaller race, kind of community race. Not that I don't like community races, I don't know, who knows, but I don't plan to run it next year, but who knows, we'll see. Not a bad race, but you know, I just gotta get the leg right, and then perhaps we can talk about it.